Are you interested in starting a free-range chicken run? Or are you wondering which chicken might be the next best addition to your flock? If this sounds like you, then this video will show you whether or not the white leghorn is the perfect chicken for you. Stick around until the end of the video for your copy of our infographic. With this in mind, let's get started with some history and background. The leghorns are Italian natives. They are named after the port of Livorno in Tuscany from where they were first exported in the early to mid-1800s, with leghorn being the English translation of Livorno. The chickens were first introduced to America, where they were included in the American standard of perfection after some crossbreeding had refined the chickens. From here, they were exported to Britain in the late 19th century. It was here in the UK that additional crossings created a larger bird. These original birds are few and far between today, with commercial setups preferring to make additional crossings to continuously improve the laying capabilities of the hens. In their native Italy, there are up to 10 colors of leghorn, while the UK boasts up to 18. Some of these include the red, brown and mottled leghorns, but the most well-known and focus of this video is of course the white leghorn. As their name gives away, these birds have brilliant white feathers. These chickens can have one of two comb varieties, single or rose combs. The rose combs are much less sensitive to frost than the singles, so keep this in mind when choosing your chickens. As with many breeds, there are conventional and bantam sizes. Conventional roosters can weigh up to 3.5 kilograms, while the hens tip the scales at 2.5 kilograms. The bantam roosters and hens generally max out at 1 kilogram and 900 grams, respectively. White leghorns have reddish eyes, and yellow beaks, skin and legs. Primarily, white leghorns are laying chickens. They are prolific layers, and you can expect an egg almost every day per hen, but in some instances this can be lower. The eggs are an unblemished white, and weigh approximately 55 grams each. As a hen matures, her eggs will continue to get bigger. You can expect your hens to remain productive for up to four years. Due to their egg-laying prowess, they are one of the most common industrial birds, but adapt to and ultimately prefer free-range conditions. These chickens are on the smaller size, so that, in conjunction with their yellow skin, makes them unsuitable for meat purposes. White leghorns are a very independent breed, and so require little additional care, apart from shelter, food and water provision. White leghorns are popular for their ability to convert feed to eggs, so they make the most of a very small amount of inputs. Because they eat very little, you need to make sure the food they do receive is balanced and fortified with a complete range of nutrients. Whether you be a smaller intensive or large-scale extensive farmer, be sure to give your leghorns plenty of space to roam around. There are also no major diseases that plague the breed, so just make sure your birds are well cared for and give them the usual demite and deworming treatments, and the chickens will take care of the rest themselves. On the whole, the white leghorns are not the friendliest of chicken breeds. They do not enjoy being picked up and can become nervous and aggressive, especially with other chickens, animals and small children. As we mentioned before, leghorns with single combs are sensitive to frost. You can mitigate this by either covering the combs and wattles in Vaseline in the colder months, or by purchasing rose comb chickens instead. As these chickens are bred to be prolific layers in commercial operations, they lack any inclination to become broody and hatch chicks. If the hens do lay viable eggs, you should invest in an incubator to hatch your chicks. And that brings us to the end of our video on the white leghorns. Let us know in the comments if you have any other tips or information to share with our viewers. Remember to check out the description for your infographic, and we will see you in the next video.